nice looking sound bar here made by Samsung it's HWN550ZC the problem with this is it doesn't power on so I'm just going to look at the power bar first Let's see if we're getting any power Getting 23 volts. On the back, there are these different screws that we'll take off to have a look because this is the 24 volt input. So, this is the inside after removing that front panel. It has some HDMI. It also has this, and in here you have a fuse, so we'll be checking at that. Then on this right hand side you can remove this, and it, this goes to the power button here. So this is the power button, and it has the screen, and we can see that the screen cable has it's disconnected there, so I'm going to have to do some soldering there. Here we have it on the scope. So first we'll put a little bit of flux. that back in I've resaw soldered the LCD um, and when I connect the power button so the issue is not that the issue is this board right here okay because when I put this in when I plug it in, you get this board right here, this spot right here, it gets really, really warm. So the real issue why it's not turning on is there's a short. Now, I'm going to remove this board. So 
well, this is like the main board. Uh, you can see it's it's HWN five five zero main board, and this is the top of what the board looks like. And on the bottom, this this here chip is heating up quite a lot. When you're trying to find for shorts and stuff, just keep in note that these kind of orangey, brighter color are capacitors and they should not have shorts. So in the continuity mode, you can check these, all these small capacitors. And then there's these kind of grayish ones and they are labeled BD. BD are inductors and they will measure shorts. So don't be surprised if you find some shorts on the board on these guys here because that's fine. But we we can do is try to find a short on any kind of uh, big capacitors where they would be on a power rail. And if you find a short on one of the big capacitors, for sure this would be an issue. I'm not finding any shorts there. Most definitely, it's one of these chips that is giving some issues. There we go. And it's this DVD encoder chip. That's also like a processor there and um, it's, it's getting really hot and I looked online to find a replacement for it because I could uh, use a heat gun and, and remove that there but finding this chip is actually quite difficult one on eBay couldn't find it. It's a ES 8680 DSC. Um, I looked at eBay because sometimes you can order them from China, but uh, they don't sell them individually, and there it's, it's just not practical uh, to get that uh, because you have to buy a certain amount of quantities. Um, DigiKey doesn't have it. So, there's not much we can do. I also looked at just replacing this board and I can't find that as well because they don't sell replacement parts for for this. So, I guess uh, we could reflow this and try to get it going again. That could be an option. So what I'm going to be doing is, this is the chip that's giving the issue. And I was able to identify it by putting my finger here. Is I'm going to do a reflow. So to do that, what you do is you put some liquid solder, not liquid solder, some flux on the pads, and we're going to heat up this board, heat up this chip, and we'll see if the short goes away. I ended up removing the chip. I taped it on the top of this soundbar here. Um, that chip is bad. It was heating up the whole thing, and so then, unfortunately, this chip has something to do with the um, circuitry because it still doesn't turn on there. So unless we get a replacement chip, which right now I can't find.